Well, hey everybody, Leslie here. Well, today we're gonna talk about spring training because we're in the springtime for paralegals. And what do you do when you're looking at this career for the first time? Or uh, whether you're in school taking a certificate program online or none of the above. You know, in most states, probably 49 states, they allow you to come in um, with schooling, certificate, or none of the above. So yes, that is possible, okay? And you can read the regulations. Go to my website, paralegalcoffeetalk.com. Look for the regulation PDF, paralegal regulations, and look around that website. That is for people looking at this career, rank beginners, okay? That's for my newbies. The whole website is for you. And look at all those tabs on there. Um, so let's talk about what should you be doing right now as a beginner? And even if you're in school doing a certificate, uh, looking at a two or four year degree, and again, maybe none of the above, you're just gonna go into the field. Um, you need to start building habits of like what? Using Google to do research. And when I tell you to go get the playbook, this is one of the things I want you to get. Now here's the cover. Okay, it's a downloadable free PDF, but on this page in the middle, you can look at the search terms I give you for paralegal duties. Why would I ask you to go do that? Why should you do that? Because you're going to learn what paralegals really do every day. And is this career for you? If so, then research each of those duties that you can. You know, you look at those duties, you can print out some of that stuff, write them down, and then research each one of them so you understand it better. Is this something you wanna do? And it could be family law paralegal duties, okay? Um, duties of a family law paralegal, real estate, and put in different areas of law, but this playbook will help you. So go to paralegalcoffeetalk.com and look under paralegal resource hub look at all of the tabs and when you hover over that tab paralegal resource hub you'll see the playbook download it and you have to sign up but there's no charge so download it and then um, look inside the hub as well okay make sure you do that lots of free resources throughout the whole website um, so you're going to do you're going to develop this habit of using google to answer your questions and you will use that ability as a paralegal. Practice to get better. How's your typing speed? Practice, how do you do that? Take typing tests that are free online, just Google it. Free typing tests on Google, okay? Number three, learn new stuff. This goes into the paralegal duties area. Number four, new beginnings. Everything you learn will push you closer to your goal of getting a paralegal job, okay? So let's go over a goal thing. You know, people will say, oh, you, you know, you need to set your goals for 12, the next 12 months. Look, for me, I'm happy to set goals for the next day or two. If you can do goals, you know, that you want to, okay, Leslie said to go on Google and search paralegal duties. That's a goal. Okay, that's an educational goal. It will do you well to understand what paralegals do every day. So, break your goals down. Just do it like for the next day or the next week. If you want to do it for a month, go for it. But look at that tw a 12 month calendar and trying to set goals, you can tend to procrastinate and you'll feel overwhelmed. So ask yourself, what's the most important habit that I need to develop right now? Well, one of them is, it's called consistency. So I need to, is my typing speed only 40 words, 45 words a minute? I need to get that up, okay. I need to get better at Microsoft Word. I need to be more advanced. Um, I need to research these duties. There are you, some of your goals, three goals right there. As you conquer each new habit, you know, okay, I'm getting, I'm really a researcher on Google now, then you can learn, you can add another habit, another new one, okay? Number four, make yourself accountable, but don't stretch those goals out for 12 months. 
okay? Look at it just for a day or two and accomplish that. Check it off, pat yourself on the back and go on, okay? Avoid goal for t fatigue. So the question is, in what way are you feeling overwhelmed and experiencing goal fatigue? And what would you feel is a more workable plan to achieve your goals? For me, I will procrastinate if I have too much on my plate or I'm stretching it out for a month and it's, I go into overwhelm. Don't do that. Look at it for the next day or two and accomplish some of those things. But then give yourself credit for doing that and, and then you will get closer to this goal of being a paralegal. Now go to paralegalcoffeetalk.com. Look under courses. Look under legal break-in book. Look at the Paralegal Inner Circle class. You know, those are all resources that are for you. They're not free, but those are things that will get you closer to the goal. And then there are free resources. So take advantage of it all and then look under bar charts as well. There's a legal terminology bar chart that I highly recommend. So have a great day and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.